Today we have begun production on a cure to the deadly pathogen 115 that is currently plaguing the United Kingdom. Before I go into detail about the cure, I wish to thank the brave students who managed to deliver the cure to us, against all odds. I will now play to you the audio diaries that were kept by these students on their journey. Today, today the world went crazy. People started attacking each other and killing each other in the streets like wild animals. I don't know what's going on or why, but if something happens to us, then maybe this diary will help. It all started earlier tonight. Settle down. So what's the mission, Sergeant? We're going to retrieve an important antipathogen from Ground Zero. What do you mean by Ground Zero, sir? Did you hit your head or something, Jenkins? There's some kind of riot in London. That still doesn't answer my question, Lise. I don't have the full details of the mission. However, I've been informed that it's our primary objective to retrieve it and bring it back to HQ. By any means necessary. Even if we have to use our guns? The command said that it is possible we may run into trouble and that it's just for safe measures. You know what's funny? The higher you get up in Her Majesty's Armed Forces, the less that the grunts have to know. A typical MOD. Please, quit it. We're coming over London now. Uh, Sergeant, you'd better take a look at this. My God, look at the city. Riots. The city's up in flames. It's a war zone down there. Pilot, take us down to the landing zone. I've got a bad feeling about this. You have no idea. When is everyone else going to get it? What is the point of arranging to meet up if they're not going to turn up on time? James, you really need to learn to calm down about these things. We got here ten minutes early because you were moaning so much about being late. I just don't get it, Vicky. What's wrong with being early? I mean, it seems like the sensible thing to do. You know, you then don't have to worry about being late and all that. James, we're students. We're meant to be late. Sometimes I wonder why you even bother trying to fit in with the rest of us. Oh look, there's Jordan, so you can finally stop going on about it. Hey! Hey guys! Finally got here then, Jordan? Well, considering as it's just gone nine, I'd say I was on time actually. How are you two doing anyway? Where are the others? The others got a lift with Alex. He texted me to say that he was parking up just before you got here. Awesome! Sounds like it's gonna be a good night, right? I'll buy the first round of drinks. Cool! What can I get you guys? Foster's, please, mate. What about you guys? I'll just go for a Coke. Come on, James. If we're going to have a night out, you should have something a little more fun. <sighs> go on, then. I'll have a double vodka and Coke. <laughs> I'll have a bottle of Bud, please, Jordan. What up, guys? Not a word, James. Sorry we're late, guys. There are loads of police about locking up the roads. It's crazy out there. 
loads of people fighting and getting arrested. There must have been some kind of protest or something that's gone a bit wrong. Hey guys, what do you want to drink? You're buying drinks, huh? A pair of Magnus with ice, please. And a uh, Cosmo, please. What about you, Brad? Bit of a gully drink, mate. Guinness for me. Come on right up, guys. What was that? Just probably someone having a great time. Or someone else is getting arrested. So the police were blocking off the streets? Yeah. Maybe it'll be on the news later. Arrogant, so. People were literally biting chunks out of each other. Sounds like a video game. Anyways. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Cheers, mate. Here's a 20 to keep the change. <laughs> let's get this party started. Yes, let's get some shots. Steady on, you can't be that drunk already. What's up, are you alright? Yeah, fine, thanks. We've got a live band for you guys tonight. Give it up for Splex and the Effects. Hey guys, we're Splex and the Effects, and this is our latest single, Black Fairy Tale. Kid, what happens if they attack us? What if they get attacked? Did you think about that, Brad? What if they need our help? Hello? Is anyone there? James! Get back from the door! We need to leave! Now! Alex, I won't leave until... What the hell is that? Come on, we need to go! Alex, come on, up the stairs, go! Jenkins to HQ. HQ receiving. Go ahead, Jenkins. I've lost my section. There was a crash. Cook and Lee's got caught in an explosion. Manila got attacked and eaten by the infected. I'm the last survivor of the squad, sir. Noted. Continue with the mission. It's a suicide mission now. It's impossible. Sure, it'd be better to... Damn it, Jenkins. You have your orders. HQ out. Damn it. Come on, guys. This way. Don't shoot! What's going on, Ash? Whoa! Stop! Don't make me shoot you. Ash, what's going on? 
Just calm down. We don't want any trouble. What's going on? All of you stop where you are. You. What? Me? Yes, you. You talk. The rest of you, shut up. What? That's not fair. That was your last warning. Now, what are you doing here? We were on a night out and, and someone started attacking people in the club. We, we panicked and ran for our lives. We don't know what's going on. Can you tell us anything? You look military. Okay, we need to find somewhere defendable to hold up. We can talk more then. There should be a block of flats not too far from here. Follow me and don't do anything stupid. Hey, who the hell put you in charge? Who are you to tell us where we need to go? I just want to go home. Shut up. You can't go home. I'm in charge. Do you want to challenge that? Okay. Look, we'll come with you. We are safer being with you than we are running around on our own. Just follow him and just shut up for once, Brad. Good. Let's get moving. Before more of those things show up. They've got Ashley and Jordan. <laughs> Ashley, Jordan, are you okay? Talk to me. They're dead. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You shot them. You are crazy. Shut up. Look, I'll explain when we get to safety, but trust me, it had to be done. We need to move. There could be more crazy people around. No, he shot them. We don't have time for this. Stay here, die, or come with me. James, this guy might be crazy, but he's the only one with a gun. We need him to get us out of here. James, he's right. Look, I don't like this guy either, but we need to get out of here and we need to go now. James, we've got to go. Please, for me? Um, I'm sorry, Ashley. Jordan, you two didn't deserve this. Let's go. We should be safe here for the moment. Look, I'm sorry I had to shoot your friends, but I had to do it. You just kill our friends. They were already dead. If not from the attack, then from the virus. Just listen, can you do that? I really need you to hear this. It's going to sound crazy and far-fetched, but just let me finish. No, you kill our friends. We shouldn't even be here with you. You would probably just kill us too. What the hell are we doing? Brad, just shut up. Good. It must be some kind of bioweapon or a virus that's gone out within the population. Maybe it was made by the military or some kind of terrorist attack. I don't know. What I do know is that it's got out and it's infecting people. I just don't know why, I don't know how. What? It drives you insane? <laughs> Hang on. Is that why they're biting people? It's worse than that. The dead, they're rising. They just get up and start walking again. And attack the living. That's not possible. <sighs> Look, it's true. I've seen it. If you're bitten, you get the virus too. The infection must pass through saliva or blood-to-blood -blood contact. Once you're infected, you die, you rise up, and then you start attacking others. At the moment, we don't know how it got out or why. That's why I had to shoot your friends. Are you actually kidding me? You're describing zombies right now. Um, sorry, but they're not real. I told you, he's crazy. Yes, I am describing zombies. Someone has created a virus that has made the undead real. I've got a question. Why have so many people gone insane at once? I believe that it infected enough people upon its initial release that it spread through rapidly through saliva contact. That does include coughing or sneezing. 
So just a slow method for me to just make contact with my skin. Ooh, I'm pretty sure we all must have got some of us by now. Been attacked twice. No, it has to make contact with broken skin. Right, okay, so what now? Look, I have no idea why I've been sent in. And the fact is, this is Ground Zero, okay? I guess now I've been sent here to figure out how the virus got out, and to try and find where it came from. Um, right, okay. Great, so, where is Ground Zero? The tube! Great! I always knew you were a twat, but now I know you're a suicidal twat. Whoa! I was joking. Please don't shoot me. Don't! The world as we know it could be over. And you just want to waste time being a bully? I don't think people as stupid as you were real. The tube is ground zero. What do you mean the tube is ground zero? That makes sense. Considering the number of people that needed to be infected for it to spread so quickly, as well as so many people who commute and visit London, it just makes sense. Can you please put the gun down, man? I'm sorry, I'll shut up, okay? Better now? Good. What are your names, anyway? I'm Alex. The bully over there is Brad. And James there is our little genius. And over there, that's Vicky. And that's Corporal Jenkins. Look, I know this is asking a lot from you, but I need your help. I lost my section getting here, and I can't do this alone. Can't you get us back up? No, not here. Not now. It's just me and you guys. No way! I'm not risking my life. I've nearly died twice tonight. I'm out! Right, I'm in. You're just as crazy as he is. Um, excuse me. No, I am not. We are safe here, you idiot. Why the hell should we go back out there? Why should I risk my life again? Give me one damn good reason why. Ashley and Jordan are dead! Okay, who knows how many others have died tonight, Brad? I am not walking away from this. I've played enough of the video games and I've seen all of the films to know walking away from this is not going to help. Are you insane? It's going to get us all killed. What good will that do? I'm staying too, Brad. I can't walk away from this. Listen, we are students. We get drunk, sleep in, barely make deadlines. What good are we going to be? That's exactly the point, Brad. We've achieved barely anything. And if we walk away and die, what will we have done? Nothing. I'd rather fight to save as many people as I can and die knowing I tried when it counted. Look, I agree with Alex, okay? What do you think, James? I can't believe this. It's stupid. We all know what James is going to do anyway. He's not going to leave Alex, is he? Okay, Brad. Seriously, shut up! James? I'll stick around too. I'm not staying here with Brad. So I can count on all of you. Apart from Brad. He's got places to be from the sounds of it. What's the point? I won't survive on my own. I might as well stick around. At least, if anything happens, I'm a little less likely to die first. Brad, you are such a selfish... Ugh! Ashley and Jordan have already died. So don't you dare say anything like that again. I want to survive. And if it comes down to it, I will push any of you in the way if it means I will live. Get over yourselves. You will all do the same. At least we'll die doing the right thing. I never thought I'd ever be in this position. But I'll do everything I can to make sure that you all survive this. We need to secure this place for the night, so we can get some sleep. Find whatever you can to block the doors and windows. Leave the window that is overlooking the alleyway clear though. We may need it for a quick exit. Once we're done, I'll take the first watch. I'll wake someone else up for the next watch. Yeah, let's have a guess who that will be. <laughs> you know what, Brad? I'll wake you up first. And then you can wake up Alex three hours after your shift, okay? Oh, come on. Seriously? I'll take the watch after you, Jenkins. Right, let's finish up and get this place defended. Let's move it, people. Let's move like we've got a purpose. And that's how we met Lance Corporal Jenkins. He ran a tight ship, but he kept us all alive. We know it will take a while to search Ground Zero, but we don't know what we're going to find. HQ, this is Jenkins. Do you copy? Over. HQ, receive. I've managed to recruit a group of students. 
They've agreed to help me find Ground Zero. I'm not sure how useful they'll be. But you never know, extra hands might come in handy. Do they know the true nature of the mission? No, they don't. If they become a risk to the security of the mission, we're going to have to terminate them. What? They're only students. They won't be a risk. God damn it, Jenkins. You have your orders. The security of this mission is priority. Terminate anyone who jeopardizes them. HQM. Understood, sir.